All right, so now that we've taken a look at YouTube, let's take a look real fast at Easy Video Player in Amazon S3. Now this is a paid option, and YouTube offers a lot of the same functionality, but if you get into online marketing and you know creating these videos that you don't want downloaded and stolen and things like that easy video player is going to be the logical choice for you now easy video player part of easy video suite and this is the website right here and it offers you a whole bunch of different options the new suite actually offers you you know video recording and you can add buy buttons and you can do all sorts of different things but one of the biggest features about this is one it's super easy and the other is is the security feature of it. Throwing your video up on, on Amazon S3 is a logical choice and it is a super cheap choice. It is a super inexpensive choice, but it's easily stolen on Amazon S3 because it can be downloaded and all that kind of stuff. So with Easy Video Player, you can create these video pages and it keeps security uh, super high. Now, Amazon S3 is essentially just a hard drive in the sky. It's, it's a hard drive on a server somewhere, so you can access it anywhere online. And it is a lot cheaper than you know most hosting options, and that's why Amazon S3 is really the logical choice for most online people who, you know, put a lot of files online and, and share them, and you know they're required to download. And so you can see here, your first terabyte is you know nine nine and a half cents. Reduced redundancy is seven seven point six cents, and then Glacier storage is one cent, but. Glacier storage is kind of a backup storage. It's not really designed for, you know, you to use all the time as far as, you know, hosting and immediate delivery. It takes a little bit longer to access it. So standard storage is usually what most people opt for. And Amazon is, is really good. They have servers all over the country and all over the world. And so it's speedy delivery. It's also inexpensive as far as, you know, hosting files and delivering those files. So those, are, so that's Amazon S3 and an easy video suite as far as the applications go. So now let's take a look behind the scenes here at Easy Video Player. And this is the, the main page of Easy Video Player it is actually hosted on your own website. You know, they give you a folder and then they upload it. And they, they actually do a good job of, you know, helping you and walking you through everything. So to upload a file, you can just hit upload here. And so you don't even have to go into Amazon S3 to upload files. Now you can, and it's usually a faster option, you know, once you get used to this. But most of the time, it's easy just to upload this via Easy Video Player, and then you're good to go. So I'm going to upload a file here. You can also, if you want, just add a file that you've already uploaded. Maybe it's on your own website or whatever else, and Easy Video Player will play it for you. So if it's a video that somebody else has handed you or whatever else, and you want to use Easy Video Player, you can do it that way. But Easy Video Player makes it easy to be able to upload these videos and get them hosted and playing as soon as possible. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to upload my MP4 file. And if you don't upload an MP4, if you upload a video that isn't designed for uh, online web hosting, things like that, uh, Easy Video Player will actually give you an alert. It actually has this cool little video here. If you're going to even think that'll walk you through you know, video hosting, how to get that file. And it also gives you the option here to download Handbrake. Now, Handbrake will convert just about any file. We kind of talked about this before, but Handbrake will get it ready for Easy Video Player. So now that I have my file here, I have my name, and I'm going to hit Upload here. It's going to take me to the Upload File page, and it's just going to sit here and upload it. What it's doing is it's actually putting it in a designated folder that Easy Video Player sets up on your Amazon S3 account. So this is going to your Amazon S3 account, but you're not actually having to touch with their user interface. Now, if you want to speed up quick delivery of these videos, you know, using the web browser isn't always the fastest way to upload these videos, and you'll notice you can only do one at a time. So if you have, you know, three or four or five or six that you want to upload to Easy Video Player, um, I use a program called Transmit. Essentially, you can use just about any program that will allow you to 
upload and download videos to Amazon S3. There's also for Windows, my recommendation is S3 browser. And it it's super easy and super simple. It's s3browser.com and it is free for the basic version. They also offer um, a super inexpensive pro version, which is $30. And what it does is, is it will enable you to quickly upload those larger files like occasionally I'll if I have a webinar you know that's very large I'll have issues uploading it you know for whatever reason and so these applications transmit or s3 browser you can also use cyberduck uh, cyberduck is another option essentially it's just an FTP program that will enable you to browse the s3 backend without having to use your browser so it just kind of speeds everything up a little bit but you are more than welcome to use this interface here. If you don't have any issues with it, then you know there, there's no need to go out and, and buy or download another program. If it works great for you, then it works great. In my experience, it just takes a little bit longer. So I'm going to go ahead and let this upload and I'll see you on the other side. All right, so now that our video has uploaded, it will show up here in our files folder. And the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to change our video settings because they're just gonna be set as default here. So what we're going to do is we're gonna change our width and our height, which our original dimensions were 1280 by 720. And, but we're probably not gonna want it that high. So we're actually probably gonna want it around 400 by 700 just to guess um, and then you have a couple of different options you can allow full screen so that allows you to click this button and it fills the entire web page you can also allow it to autoplay this is great for replay pages or sales pages where you automatically want it to play you can enable or disable the shadows the shadows kind of make the video player look like it's pulled out from the page you can also block pausing here so once they start watching they have to watch the entire video uh, you can also have it pause when focus is lost. This is really cool for, you know, if they switch to another tab or they just kind of keep the window open in the background, you can have it automatically pause. So it makes sure that they are attentive and actually watching the video all the way through. And then you have, you know, player controls. You can always show these, always hide them, or only show on mouse over. So if you want just a naked video player, you can actually do this and it will you set it to autoplay and it will automatically play and there's nothing they can do about it. So that's that's kind of cool for sales pages, for videos that you really want them to watch. For replays and things like that, it's helpful to have the pause button because, you know, it is a three hour video. So, you know, most people aren't going to be able to sit there and watch a three hour video unless they've planned for it. Uh, here you can also allow downloading of your video. You can share the video. You can embed the video. You can allow them to embed the video. Uh, and you can load the video in a light box. If you don't know what a light box is, what it does is it blurs and darkens the rest of the page and brings the video to the forefront. So just kind of a fancy little deal that Easy Video Player allows. You can also have it do things after your video. For example, if it's a sales video or a webinar video, you can actually have them take the user to a website so you can have them take them to a buy page or whatever. You can also display a button, you know, on the on the bottom or on the video. You can have it, you know, buy now, and then the the URL takes them to your sales page. You can also create overlays, so you can have calls to action and and messages, things like that. You can do image overlays. You can create an intro video. Uh, you can add watermark. You can do all sorts of stuff. A lot of this is mostly too fancy for what we use I, I usually don't even bother with the, all this stuff down here on the bottom um, because you know it is fancy and this box right here is really all I need and I just change the width and the height and allow full screen and then toggle the autoplay depending on where I'm putting it so then once you're done with all the options here you just hit save and it will load up a preview pane and also give you the embed code for your video so now there's our video right there we can play it and so now we're ready and there's our video you also notice that's nice and large it looks great on a web page if it's a little bit too large you can always go back and edit the settings 
and change the settings, you also notice that the second time, I don't know why it does this, but the second time whenever you load this settings page, you actually have a native button. So if you kind of guessed wrong, I've been doing this a while, so I kind of can guess where, you know, what the width is going to be to match the height. Let's see how close I was. I was pretty close. I was only about 12 pixels off. So 12 pixels, most people wouldn't have noticed, but I usually come back in here and check this and make sure that, that everything is, is correct. I always hit that native button and then adjust my height again. And then once you saved your changes, it'll load that page again. You'll notice down here, it gives you this JavaScript embed code. You have a couple of other options. If you have trouble with the JavaScript, that's really the best option. But if you do have trouble with the JavaScript, then you can use the iframe or the object. And then you can come in here. This is just a blank WordPress page. And you can copy that page. And they also have an easy video player plugin, which will actually make it a little bit more user friendly with WordPress. And so now I can preview this page and there's our video. And, and, so now we're ready. and now it's playing on our WordPress site. You can do this with any page. If you create your Word, your website in HTML code, you can just use the just that JavaScript code that it dropped in and that takes care of everything for you. So this has been a look at Easy Video Player and Amazon S3. So you can kind of see how super easy it is. Again, this is a premium option. You know, it does cost about $300 to do this. But if you are doing online videos a lot, Easy Video Player is the best player we found out there. So what we'll do in the next video is we'll take a look at a couple of other sites real quickly. We'll just kind of touch on them. So I'll see you there.